Hi guys, welcome to Moomers of Mav. I hope you are having a good day. So today I have Chloe here with me. Hi. And Chloe has got a message for you guys, okay? A message. So I am <laughs> going to be sat here listening. So guys, take your notebooks, your pen, everything that you can, your phones, whatever, and do listen because God has placed something on her heart and Chloe is going to be sharing that with us today. So Chloe, without further ado, please, Take the floor. Thank you. Cool. So yeah, I already feel like God has just put it on my heart to share about fear and just how we shouldn't let fear stop us from um, doing the things that God has called us to do. Because I feel like fear is one of those things that is often the root of most of the things that we struggle with. Like. Yeah. Even when it just comes to obeying God, like mm -hmm. often you can be traced back to fear. Yeah. Because you think, oh, what are people gonna think? Um, mm -hmm. What what might happen? Am I gonna um, lose my reputation? Am I gonna lose friends? All sorts of things like that. So I just really feel like, yeah, God has just been giving me sort of like revelation about fear That's and really how we need to change the way that we view fear as well and mm -hmm. not let it stop us from doing what God has called us to do. Mm -hmm. um, kind of the scripture I've been reading is in Psalm 23. And it's in verse five, um, and it says that um, the Lord prepares a feast for us in the presence of our enemies. And I was just thinking about how, like, often, like the feast that God has for us, like the things He wants us to do, like um, the purpose that He has for our life, like, is quite often in the presence of our enemies. Mm. Like, what He calls us to do is often going to seem really big and really scary and beyond what we could do in our own mm. strength. And so just kind of viewing fear as like, if we feel afraid and we think, oh my gosh, like, how am I gonna do this? That's an indicator that you're at the feast of God. Mm -hmm. Like that's an indicator that you're at the table, that you're in God's purpose for your life. Mm -hmm. And even in like the natural world, like we see examples of this of like a farmer, like he'll put a scarecrow in a fruitful field. Mm -hmm. And the scarecrow is like the enemy for the bird. So the bird like will see the scarecrow and won't come and feast because mm -hmm. it's afraid. Mm -hmm. And I feel like so often with us, as well God's like if only we knew that the scarecrow wasn't real like we would feast wow. like at the table with God wow. like if only we knew because the birds like if they knew the scarecrow wasn't there they would go and eat all the corn or mm. the fruit whatever it is in the field and farmers only put scarecrows in fruitful fields like you wouldn't put it in just a random dead field would you mm. it's only the fields that have like the fullness of life and all the fruit and everything that's needed the bible says that the enemy prowls around like a lion like looking for whom he may devour mm -hmm. but even just the wording of that is like like a lion like yeah. he's not a lion like yeah. he just yeah. is trying to trick us and make us think that it's some really big scary thing mm -hmm. that we cannot do sure. but then god is just speaking over and he us and he's just like no like this is what i've called you to do like yeah. this is what i created you for like we shouldn't we shouldn't ever let fear stop us from doing something and if we just change our perspective yeah. to just like okay god i'm feeling afraid like because of this thing but then you remember like oh wait that fear is the indicator that fruit is in the field and so the feast is always in the presence of your enemies like the plans that god has for you are so big and they might seem really wild and crazy but that's okay because it's just an indicator. Yeah. It's just an indicator that you're about to go to like a new level of fruitfulness. So yeah, yeah. I just really want to encourage you guys, just even if you're feeling afraid, just do it anyway. Like let the fear encourage you. Yeah. Like don't let it hold you back. Don't let it stop you from doing what God has called you to do in your life. And also just like a few ways of like overcoming fear or mm -hmm. dealing with it. I think it's important to tell God your fears as well because quite often we're like, oh I'm just trusting God like mm -hmm. yeah he's got it but like how many times do we actually come to God and say okay God this is what I'm afraid of mm -hmm. this is why I'm afraid of it and it just yeah. seems so scary um just bringing our fears to him and then just letting him comfort our hearts and yeah. just encourage us with that as well wow. um just spending time in his presence as well because God like he's so big and so mighty compared to anything that you're afraid of as well so I just feel like spending time with him is just gonna encourage you so much mm -hmm. um and then I guess after all that like if you still feel afraid then do it anyway yes obey God anyway <laughs> go Amen. with the fear <laughs> because even fear can sometimes be a good thing because it shows that you care and that mm. you see and you feel privileged you're like wow God what an honor that you mm. would choose me to do this That's and really so good. fear can also be a sign of the fact that you recognize 
recognize mm-hmm. the privilege that it is that God mm. has given you this wow. assignment or thing so, to do. So yeah, wow. do it afraid, guys. Do it afraid. <laughs> Even if you're scared, go do, for it. Go for it. The Bible does say that um, to obey is better than sacrifice. Yeah. I could give you countless examples where God yeah. has asked me to like do something, and I'm like, God, <laughs> ah! I can't. Yeah. Why me? But then when I've done it. I've matured, I've grown, mm. I've grown one step, you yeah. know, so yeah, do it after. Yeah. That is a very good word, Chloe. Mm. Thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, yeah. And I think also like in this day, in this world, like Jesus is coming. If you don't know, Jesus is coming. All yeah. right. So we haven't got time. No. We haven't got time. Don't say that I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it next year. No. Like do it now. Yeah. This is a timely word. This is a timely word. Thank you so much, Chloe. Mm. We are so grateful. I am grateful for this word because yeah, I sometimes I get I get I get afraid. I I, sometimes I get scared. I I, Me too. Yeah. Like (laughs) you know, I remember when, you know, God placed um this vision of moments of Mm. my heart. Oh my goodness. I was so scared and so afraid. Mm. You know, but I'm glad that I obeyed. Yeah. You know, because when I'm doing it I'm more happier because I know that I am walking the will of God. Yeah. When I tr- when I try to avoid it, I'm miserable. Mm. And God reminds me, you're not <laughs> you're not living on your purpose. That's why you're yeah. miserable. So get up yeah. and go live on your purpose. Yeah. And you'll be fine. Yeah. And when I do it, I'm like, yes, I'm fine, girl. I'm yeah. fine. Yeah. Now that I'm obeying you. Yeah. Now that I'm obeying okay. you. It's all okay. It's yeah. all okay. We're good. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope that you have anything else to say before no, we go. Yeah. No, Thank you so much. Good. Thank oh, you. Thank you guys Thank for you. watching. Thank you for tuning in. I'm so grateful that you you come here to watch and just listen to what we have to share with you. Please don't forget to subscribe, mm-hmm. to comment and share. Please, please, please spread the word because we are really, really wanting people to hear about the good news of Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Take care and I'm sure we will catch up later. Bye. Bye.